Okay guys, welcome back to another Scrap and Irish video. And as you will see by the title, this is a new item I've got. I have previously had one of these, but um, this is a new one I've bought because the other one burnt out. If you're familiar with my channel, you will know that it burnt out a while back and I said it, I don't know, a year ago, two years ago, but I hadn't really uh, had the use for it uh, for one for a while. So I um, needed it again because I'm on the gold recovery stuff again. So I need distilled water. So again, this is a review of the product and stuff. I didn't get it free, bought this, unlike uh, Ian Matthews, who will be reviewing some of this guy, these people's stuff. Um, I have, fortunately, don't get it free. Now, if there's anyone from Vivor that wants to give me stuff free to test out, I will test it out. But anyhow, I bought this for myself because it's something I'm going to need to use for um, my gold recovery videos going forward. And the last one I had burnt out, different brand, it wasn't Vivor. Um, I presume that's how you pronounce their name. Maybe I'm pronouncing it completely wrong. Maybe that's why they won't give me anything free. But anyhow, this I, I got a wire cutter from these as well that I got a while back. And I might put the review of that in here somewhere um, where I done the review of the wire cutter I got from them. And I still use it and it's still doing the job. So what have I got this time? Well, you will see here what I've got. So we'll just open the top of the box. Comes well packaged. So got some good protective foam, which um, might save if I'm going sending something to a few people. I have to send a few items out. Still haven't forgot about your Ralph. Still have to send you out that stuff. I still have that thing. Um, so I'll be able to send that out. I have three weeks coming off now um, work where I'm actually changing jobs. So I have three weeks in between the old job and the new job. So um, that's when I will uh, try and get it out. So we'll take the first part out. Ooh, and as you can see, um, I wonder has anyone guessed what this is yet? Um, we'll put that down there and we'll take some more of it out. So we have some more foam, which can be used for packing stuff. And this should give it away, guys, when I take this part out. A water container. Hmm. Yes, you've guessed right. I've got a device to take regular tap water and um, convert it to distilled water, which, if anyone knows, for gold recovery, you have to use distilled water in certain situations. And if you use tap water and stuff like that, it will stop you being able to drop out your gold and it will stop you from processing silver properly and stuff like that. So I needed something to make distilled water or buy distilled water. But why buy it when you can make your own until you wear it out like I did the last time? Hopefully this time we get longer out of it. And the last time I didn't really look after it as well as I should have. So let me take the other part of it out. And um, we'll leave that there. And what else have we got in here? Uh, we have our crystals, which will take out, help us convert the um, the tap water into distilled water. We have a power cable, which comes with a European plug on it. So I need to get that changed to a UK. I'll get an adapter put on it. Uh, we have some, these are what's going to actually purify the crystals are for cleaning the, um, the actual machine itself, which I, Probably didn't do enough of the last time, and that's what caused it to um, develop a bit of a rot on it. But anyhow, these this as well is used in. Um, I'll show you in a minute actually where that goes. But because I've had one before from a different company, so I know how it works. But um, the 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 only thing I would say about this is maybe it should come with UK plug adapter with it. Uh, Again, there might be an option on the website that I missed. If there is, please let me know in the comments. So we'll turn that down so you can see what we're at here and we'll try and get a different thing. There we go. So here we go. So instructions um, and care on how to look after the product. So again, and the cleaning, that was the part I have to admit I wasn't the best at um, on the previous one. So again, I can't really blame the thing so here we go operating manual for a uh, distilled water machine so that's what i wanted for making distilled water um so power cable i'm gonna get an adapter for that 
um, I'm sure of some of the presses here. This is what helps with the distillation of the water. So I presume that's like a charcoal or some sort of other material they have in there. The water is converted from tap water in here into a steam, comes up through this device, will come through here. This is where this little filter will be going in and then come out at the end will be your distilled water and into the container. So, um, fairly straightforward, much the same as the other one. The controls looks a better display than what I had on the other one to start off with, but we'll wait and see. Um, so I just need to probably read the destructions and how I fit this in here. The last time it was, you just removed pull something apart but this time it may be different so let's not do uh, any Matthews on it and not read the instructions on how to do it so let's me do that off screen because you don't need to be going down through all this I'll do that off screen and we'll be back in a few minutes and um, I'll have discovered how this goes in here and we'll show you how it goes in and um, we'll get this filled with water We'll get it turned on, we'll see what the controls look like, and um, we'll make some distilled water that I'll be using in another video soon. Because, again, I didn't couldn't do the other part of the gold recovery video until I got distilled water. So, this is here now, and we can get moving on that. So, check back in a few seconds. Well, for you, it's going to be instant. Okay, so, um, we're ready. Well, I was going to put one of these in. But the good guys at Vivor have already got one installed for you, so um, which is good. So all you do is pull this out, forward, and there it is, inside of there. You can see the water comes through, the steam comes through there and condenses and goes through that filter. And then once it goes through that filter, it'll drop out as water. So they have one already installed. Now again, in the instructions, I found it hard to find out that that was already in there. So maybe Vivor tell people that it's there. Maybe I missed it. If I do, please tell me in the comments that I was wrong and it was there all along. And um, we can we can maybe do something with it. Um, but yeah, so that's there done. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to, um, off screen, I'm gonna fill this container up with regular tap water. And um, I'm going to get a, adapter for this get it plugged in get it set up get the water in and we'll um go again in the instructions again it says do not fill past the level so guys stick to it do what they say you have to do um to make sure it works right and um we're going to as it get this working so what i'm going to do because i want to see what the display is like compared to what it was on the other one the other one was just a dial turn the dial on and that was it this one has, seems to have more digital display and stuff like that so it seems to be more advanced that sort of way and um we'll we'll get this put together get the adapter and um get this filled with water so let me get on to that part okay so i've changed the angle a bit on the camera and um we're ready to get moving on this so um as you can see i've put a little adapter on here to bring this from the two pin to the three pin which we use here in Ireland and it's also used in the UK I see a little bit of damage on the earth there so hopefully um, it doesn't do anything too drastic I have plugged this into the back so you have two plugs so let me just make sure we're plugging it into the right one because again yes it can only plug into one the other one is a is a this is a male here so male to female can only go that way so Again, straight in, nothing too hard about that. And then we're just gonna add the water. So I'm gonna turn this so you can see the max line. Max line is here. So we're just gonna add, again, it's regular tap water. Nothing else, just tap water. So as long as I'm below the max line, we'll be happy enough. So yeah, it's not quite there yet. There we go. Max line, so which exactly is what I had in that container. So that's the max line done. Um, now, again, I'm going to empty that container out completely because we don't want any tap water going in with our distilled water. Plus I have a spare one of these containers as well, so we can use that if need be. So that is 
that part set up. Next is we have to put the top on here and as you can see we have the male one of these so that's going to go into the back. So again this just sits down on top, nothing too complicated there and then it just slots into the black in the back. So we are now set in. So we're ready to go nearly. So just I'm going to move this back a small bit and we're going to set the camera up at a different angle so you can actually see the digital display. The only other thing we need to do is this container. You have a little silver cap that goes on top. So again, little silver cap. And that's to help to funnel the water actually into place. So you set that up and we'll change the angle of the camera so you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, so we have set the camera up differently so you can actually see now what we're doing. And what we're doing is this will line up with that so that you can slide that in here like that and that will help the water to flow down into the container. So that's it lined up. So the water now will slide down and straight into this container. So I'm gonna switch, the, plug this in, hopefully it doesn't all go bang, and we'll be able to um, get a look at the display. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna zoom us in on the display, so we can see what happens when I plug it in and switch it on. So hopefully we don't hear a loud bang. Okay, so we're getting lit up and we have our settings and our reel. So we'll see, switch it on, there we go. So again, I'm gonna have to read the instructions and see what each one of these mean. So let me stop it there and read the instructions and come back. Okay, so fairly straightforward. Temperature set to. So again, water boils as we all know, 100 degrees. So you don't need to have it set any much higher. It says 105 is the default setting on the, um, the system. So I'm leaving it at 105 degrees. And this will give you a readout of what temperature it is actually at. So that water that went in there was at 19 degrees. The fa fan you hear is to dispense of heat that is generating. And this, what it's doing essentially, it's boiling. It's a big kettle, essentially. This is what this is. It's a big kettle. Uh, let me zoom you out. Oh, not zoom you in. So it's a big kettle. And all she's going to be doing is boiling the water up here, creating steam. The steam then will, will rise. If I can get us down a bit narrower. Hello, everyone. <laughs> the wrong button, of course. But, um... I was just trying to get us a better angle, but anyhow, that's going to have to do. So there we go. Um, so that's what I was trying to do. Couldn't do it. Anyway, you get a look at me really close up. So there, there we go. The, what's happening is essentially here, boiling the water once it gets to 100 degrees. Water starts to boil, creates steam. Steam starts to rise. Um, steam will be funneled through here, condensed back down as water, goes through the filter, drops in here, distilled water. We have a fan which is blown out here on the top coming out on the side. So what's happening there then is, is it's as the heat is get as the item itself is heating up, it's essentially dis displacing that heat away from the machine. And that is it. So all I can do is let that run now and we come back when it's done and we'll see how we got our distilled water. Does it work fully? And um, I'll give my verdict on it. I think you already know what my verdict is going to be. If it gives me distilled water, it's going to be a thumbs up. So as we say, Come back and we'll um, we'll see how we got on. Okay, guys. So a little update. Um, sorry, my phone held in my hand for this one, but I just wanted to show you guys. So we're at 105 here. We're reading 100 degrees actual. So the water now is boiling, uh, very hot to the touch. Um, I can feel hot air coming out here. But what we have, as you can see, we have water going into the container um, and again you can see the line here we've already filled up as far as there so we should get this container filled up nearly to the top 
from what we put in here. Um, so I'm going to let that carry on and um, we should have a full container of distilled water. It's been running about 15 minutes I'd say, maybe 20 and um, I'll let that run and um, let that carry on and at the end hopefully we'll have a full container of water. So let's check it out. Okay guys, so as you can see it is now finished and we have a full container of um, distilled water that I can use going forward and um, just very easy to use I must say um, just lift that up there for a second and take that off and now we have one full container of um, distilled water just like that so very easy to use um, just fill the the jug with the water turn it on set your temperature here which was the 105 this will read out what temperature it's again once it gets to your 100 degrees you've created your boiling water and um, steam transfers up through the filter and down into the container and um, we have our distilled water that we can use um, for the rest of my um, cold recovery. And I keep saying, um, instead of doing, uh, there we go again, um. But that's my distilled water. And the product itself worked perfect. So what is my verdict? Well, I already knew I was going to like it because... Um, I ordered it and I, as I say, it's not a free free product. Um, I paid for it myself and uh, it's perfect for what I want to do. So if you're going to be doing gold recovery, you can have the choice. You could get something like this and make your own distilled water, buy distilled water, or find another method of making distilled water for me. Very convenient. Um, my cost on it at the time uh, is wasn't a huge amount. I'll tell you exactly how much I paid for this now. Uh, I paid 89 euro for this device. So for 89 euro, I'm going to be able to make distilled water as much as I want. So you compare that to what you're buying your distilled water for. Is it worth for doing for you? That's a decision you're going to have to make yourself. But for me, it was an investment that I was happy to make uh, for the gold recovery going forward. Marks out of 10, for me, it's definitely an 8 out of 10, uh, possibly even 9 out of 10. The, the only thing I'd have against it was it didn't come with the adapter for the European uh, plug to change it to UK. But again, that may be something I overlooked when I was ordering. I'd have to look into that a bit further. And the um, instruction on it as well can be a bit more detailed, but um, I already knew how it worked. So it wasn't really going to be an issue for me. So they were the only two things that I would say could be improved on it other than that perfect for use so until the next one guys um keep safe keep on looking for that gold and check out some more of my review things i say um i did get the from this company i did get the um, wire thing again i'm not endorsed by this company i don't get anything from this company i buy this product myself and um, unlike Ian matthews i actually have to pay for these things so um brilliant works perfect